Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Olivia Berry. In this video, you guys are gonna go with me on my apartment hunt. Um, when I apartment hunted during a pandemic, it was quite the experience, lots of twists and turns, um, some you know dark horses, a surprise um, entry, a surprise victory. We love an underdog, um, a mental breakdown. <laughs> there, was, there was a lot that happened during my tour. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start the video now. We don't wanna waste your time. This was the first apartment that I saw. Um, it was the place that I wanted to live in the most. It was beautiful in the pictures, and I was just so excited to see it. And initially when I looked at it, it was way cheaper than it ended up being. I guess, I don't know, they were just playing me to get me to come and look at it and fall in love, which I did. Look at the freaking marble countertops. They are beautiful. The floor was beautiful. The appliances were beautiful. Everything was just so gorgeous. I loved it so much, but it was way above my budget. Also, they staged it quite nicely. That's just the guy who's giving the tour. Um, but yeah, I love how wide these windows were. I'm a sucker for a long, tall, wide window. I love a good wide window. I didn't go out onto the um, patio, but I just like took a small little peek of it. <laughs> but yeah, I enjoyed this place so much. I thought it was so nice. They had the washer, the washing machine out there for some reason. But I loved it so much, especially the bathroom. I am a sucker for a nice bathroom. And I also love a bathroom that has that little um, like linen closet. Just I And in my last place, we had one. And I just used it to put like my makeup. But yeah, I really love this place. But like I said, it was about $200 above my budget. I am in med school. I'm like broke. I'm a broke medical student. So I just didn't want to go above my budget because I knew where my budget was and I wanted to stick to that. But yeah, I love this place. It was beautiful. Um, it had a pretty small bedroom in my opinion um, and not that big of a closet. But again, it was beautiful. I truly love this place, but I just knew I couldn't um, afford it. So this place, I hate it. <laughs> From the moment I got there, the lady who was showing it to me had a terrible attitude and she just didn't seem very inviting. And I also didn't like the neighborhood that it was in because like when you're, you know, apartment shopping in a pandemic, you're using the internet. So you're not able to actually go into the neighborhood a lot of times and see what's going on. So I did everything online. So when I came over, I just didn't really like the neighborhood that much. And then she just had such a terrible attitude. And I was so confused. You know, in my mind, I'm like, do you even want me to see this place? But yeah, it had a, um, a fireplace, but I... I didn't like I don't like apartments with fireplaces and then I think the thing I liked the most in this whole unit was the restroom I hated how small the windows were I didn't enjoy that whatsoever this bedroom was also small um kind of like the last one and the closet wasn't that big and I think in my mind like I compare everything to my last place so the closet in my last place was huge the bedroom was you know small but like kind of big. The thing I liked the most in this place was the flooring and the bathroom. I didn't think the bathroom was that bad, even though it had popcorn walls, which I thought was kind of odd. I've never seen that before, like an actual popcorn wall. I've seen popcorn ceilings, but not the walls. So yeah, didn't really like that this much. Um, I think everything about me, like I go off energy and because the woman who was showing to me because her energy was off. I think my energy was off and it became incredibly difficult to even convince me to even like consider this place as an option at that point. I just wanted to look at it to make sure I was making the right decision for myself. This place was completely different in terms of energy. I enjoyed the neighborhood. The girl was super nice when she met me. I think also because she was younger, she actually lives in this unit. Or not this unit, but she lives in the community. So I think she just had a more personable attitude and she was just happy to show the place. So I, like my energy came back. I felt better about it. I was happier about it. So this ended up being my number one at that time. Um, Okay, so initially when I decided, you know, what I'm looking for, I said, I can't have a carpet, but they didn't have anything with flooring, um, with hardwood flooring. So I was like, okay, fine. Maybe I can deal with not having hardwood flooring if I get this, you know, like kind of adorable apartment. They had this beautiful French door, as you guys saw earlier, and those super cute light fixtures and the fan. And I just thought it was adorable. I thought it was a really cute apartment. I didn't really like the um, coloring of the 
the countertops or the appliances. I felt it looked kind of old if I had ended up going with that place. I probably would have used like contact paper or something to change up the coloring because I just thought it looked old. It gave it a very almost like old French vibe, which I didn't truly enjoy that much. I didn't like the rose, like the rosewood brown. I didn't like that at all. But you guys, this place's bathroom was beautiful, aside from the countertops. The actual bathroom was gorgeous. I love the tile splash in the background. I thought that was beautiful. I thought that was such a nice touch. I thought that was really, really, really great. Okay, so I'm gonna have a bit of an interlude to talk about some things because I kind of want you guys to understand how I was feeling when I went into this next place or this last place. So the first week, um, the week prior to my day of just going around looking at apartments, I had seen a house. This house belonged to a resident um, at the hospital. Ooh, another freaking gnat, guys. I have a gnat infestation. I've been getting a lot of them, but there's still like a few lingerings around. Anyway, she said that she was looking for someone to move in and take over the rent from her last roommate. And her last roommate was someone like, you know, that I thought was cool, that someone I liked in the class. So I was like, okay, well, she's probably like that too. So, and it just so turns out that she was an artist or she is an artist as well. And she had a great vibe. She was so kind, um, super inviting, very, very cool girl. Um, I really liked her. Super smart, too. Like, I was like, wow, it would be really cool to live with her. I, I could totally, like, get some help from her because she's already a resident at the hospital. So I really wanted to like it. I really wanted to. And it's a house, which comes with a lot of its own, like, perks, right, and benefits. Um, initially, when I was apartment hunting in my head, I didn't want a roommate. I wanted to live alone, and I ended up living alone. But at the time, I was like... I could be okay with a roommate because she's a resident. She's like barely ever going to be there, right? So then I was like, okay, let me go look at this place. I loved the place, loved her vibe, loved everything about her. I thought she was awesome. But then the thing that basically kept me from saying yes was the fact that this place didn't have a closet for me. Um, the room that I got just didn't have a closet. And I just knew I couldn't live in a place that didn't have like a full closet or a walk-in closet because I have a lot of clothes. I need to actually sell a lot of them or, you know, give a lot of them away, but I have a lot of clothes and there was just nowhere to put them. And I just knew I couldn't live in a place that didn't have a closet. So that was kind of like the, that, that was the deal breaker for me. So then that next week was when I go on the apartment hunt that you guys see. And I actually didn't record a few of the places I saw because the place, so there's a place, the last place that you guys are gonna see, the one you're about to see now, there was a place that I saw even before that. And I think by that point, I was depressed. I was tired. There are a few other places that I didn't actually see, but they sent, you know, recorded videos of those places for me to see because you're, they weren't allowing people to tour them, either self-guided or with a guide because of the pandemic. So some places I had to just like sit there and like watch a video or watch someone do like a video call of them like walking through the place. And some places even allow that, like you just have to use the YouTube video that they already posted. So um, at this point, I was really depressed. I was sad. I was tired. I was hungry. Apartment shopping is such a grueling process sometimes and i was so over it and then i go to see this very last place or this initially what had been my very last place and i freaking hated it it had a freaking fireplace again and i was just like oh my god i'm tired of these freaking fireplaces and then i just didn't like it i hated the ceiling i hated the tiling i hated the carpet i hated everything about that place and it was so depressing because i was like this was the last official place that was on my actual real list of places to see and i hated the neighborhood it was really far away i don't even know why i thought i could live there it was so far away from the hospital so i was just really sad really sad and then my um like my friend had this great idea of just going to where I used to live. So like the neighborhood that I used to live to just see like if they had anything. And I told him like everything in that area is out of my budget. 
you know, I don't know what I'm saying, from my boyfriend. Everything is out of my budget. Um, it's like, I'm thinking like my Nigerian parents are watching this, or like Nigerian aunties are watching this. And it's just like, you know, when you talk to them, you're like, my friend. <laughs> so that's like what they do. Like, oh, how's your little friend? Like, that's how they talk about it. So like, I'm like in that mindset, so that's what I'm saying. But anyway. So he was like, let's just go to like to the neighborhood he used to live. And I was like, I can't afford anything over there right now on my budget because I'm going to be living alone. I don't want to have a roommate. And then he was like, let's just go see. Let's go see. So we go over there and we're driving through the neighborhood near like where I used to live. And I just see this place and they're like leasing now. And I'm like, this apartment's cute. And I really like the name of it. Like, it's weird, right? Like I was like, whatever. So I go over there and they're like, we're doing. OK, so the girl who showed me the place was so nice. She didn't show me the place, but like they're um their secretary or you know apartment manager she's not the apartment manager but like the person who was working there was so nice she was so nice she was so professional she had this great attitude i loved her outfit i loved her hair she just had this great energy and i just felt like she just like revitalized me with so much good kind energy and it made me so happy so i was like i have to see this place now because you're awesome so yeah now you guys get to see what i saw and yeah, so. <laughs> so I walk into this space and initially I'm like, oh, well, this is odd. You know, the kitchen is in the walk hallway or whatever that's called. So I thought that was a bit odd. But then I looked at the color of the cabinets and I was like, well, that's freaking amazing. I love this brown. This is a great color. Wasn't that into the coils. I thought that was a little eh. But now I'm actually a huge fan of the coils because they cook so fast. But this is like the first place where I opened the fridge. I don't know why I opened the fridge. I think in my mind I knew like this is where you're going to live, girls. So just go ahead and really get like a good idea of what it's going to be like to live here. And I think my the thing that really caught me off guard the most was the floor. As you guys can see, it is a hard concrete um, concrete floor, and that definitely was something that I was not expecting to see at all. I didn't even know that was a thing, honestly, it's polished concrete. So I was kind of like taken aback by that, but then, like I said earlier, I do have allergies and I did want a place with hardwood floor, but the concrete floor at this location was what put this um, this particular unit into my budget. And I also heard that this unit had been on the market for a while. So I was like, you know what, maybe this is a sign. I'm really into like, you know, being intuitive and signs from the universe and stuff like that. I know it's not super scientific, but I do um, believe like, you know, sometimes things just happen that are supposed to happen for you. So I was like, you know what, I think this is for me. And then especially when I walked into the bathroom, I love the bathroom, it was huge, so big. I love a big bathroom. I think a big bathroom is amazing. And then the closet was huge, so much space. And the washer and dryer is also in the closet, which I didn't love. But as, like, that was like the only thing I didn't like outside of everything else that I loved. So yeah, this is it. I remembered that I have a tripod, so I went to go get it um, for my phone. But yeah, that was, apartment hunting was such a horrible experience for me. And the apartment that I ended up going with, I found by chance. So it was obviously meant to happen. I truly believe that. But even after I got the, like after I saw the place, the application process was hilarious because I kept getting scared and like backing down. And like the next day or the next few days, I was like, no, actually I'm gonna go and like look at another place. And I kept finding different reasons to um, wanna like, I had this like dry skin spot. I just, like, kept finding different reasons to like, not like want to sign the lease or not to do the application like i kept dilly daddling i kept getting scared when i look back on it i realized that i was truly afraid of living alone i was truly afraid of heading out there in the world by myself without like a friend or a roommate or my parents to you know tell me what to do or help me i was truly afraid of being an independent woman but i did it and i love living alone i think it's amazing i love this experience i think it's so important to be able to have your own space if you can afford to or if you can if you you know have the privilege to be able to do that i think that's it's really nice to have your own space for a few years of your life so i hope to live here for um the rest of medical school but yeah i uh, that was a that was something else um 
apartment shopping during a pandemic is not fun. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys had fun with me and I'll see you guys next time. Ellie, bye.